everyone. Welcome to the Organic Chemistry Department of the University of Vienna. Today, we are talking about hydrogen, which is the first and lightest element of the periodic table. Hydrogen is present everywhere around us, even in us, and its form of compounds together with other elements. Hydrogen, under atmospheric conditions, is a colorless and odorless gas, which is constituted by two hydrogen atoms bonded together. Hydrogen is highly combustible. It releases a huge amount of energy when burnt, around three times larger than the one of gasoline and eight times more than that of firewood. Hydrogen, for instance, can be used as fuel for rockets, we collected some hydrogen in the balloon, and now I will show you what happens when it burns. And this is why hydrogen is considered a clean source of energy because the product of this combustion is just water. Hydrogen is the most abundant substance in the whole universe, but this, since it's very light, it can easily escape to the highest level of our atmosphere. This is why it's not possible for us to get hydrogen as it is, but we need to extract it from some kind of hydrogen source. One of these available sources that we can use is water. The electrolysis of water is one of the methodologies used for getting hydrogen. The electrolysis uses an electrical source of energy to promote a chemical reaction. We can show you here how to perform a homemade electrolysis. For this experiment we need two electric wires, two pencils sharpened on both sides, one glass of tap water, one battery of 9 volts and sodium chloride that is basically the cooking salt. We are going to add some salt to the water. In this way, it will be easier for the electric charges to move around water. It should be okay, like this. Then I put this cup with two holes. In this way, it will be easier for the two pencils to get inside. The solution is still turbid, but it will get cleaner soon and then we're gonna add these two crocodile clamps to the graphite of the pencil that's the trickiest part We are using pencils because it's an easy material to find and moreover graphite is a good material for making the electrons move from the battery to the solution. Okay, now that we have connected the wire, so the source of energy to the pencil and then to the water, we should be able to see the electrolysis. This water is made by two atoms of hydrogen and one of oxygen the pencil that is bubbling more gas is because it's bubbling hydrogen and in theory it should be double the amount of the one producing oxygen. 